All right, here we go on Crypto Comics, my review of Heroes Reborn. I'm not going to do all the books. I was going to do Captain America, but my Captain America comics are in storage. And so, uh, and I can't find one at a comic shop. I can't believe that Rob Liefeld's run on Captain America is not in the back issue bit anywhere. That's very surprising, considering how much people shit all over it all the time. But we do have the Avengers, and, uh, I, you know, yeah, Rob Liefeld draws all faces the same. Um, that's pretty obvious. But he also makes these really dynamic comics, and it's, it's really fun to look at. Uh, the story by Jim Valentino, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure because Rob, you know, takes credit for the story, whatever that may mean. Uh, if you don't know, Heroes Reborn basically is... Uh, what happened after Onslaught, which is a whole nother story with Professor X killing a bunch of people in the Marvel Universe. And Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards, creates basically the Franklinverse, which is this pocket universe where he sends all the heroes of Heroes Reborn uh, for safekeeping until at the end of the 12-issue the year-long run, they're returned back to the normal Marvel Universe. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Loki is uh, kind of the central villain in this thing. And I don't even want to... It looks. Look at it. Doesn't it look great? But really, uh, I read this, and I was kind of disappointed uh, because the story's all right. You know, Scarlet Witch kind of factors into this pretty heavily. Swordsman is in this. Um, obviously, yeah, Feral, or excuse me, Hellcat, and Vision. Uh... Nick Fury's kind of running the show around here a little bit. Uh, not a lot, you know, more uh, more of a Nick Fury kind of, not Nick Fury getting in the way, but S.H.I.E.L.D. getting in the way. This dirty bastard getting in the way. Guy Rich is his name, and he's a total jerk who wants to, you know, control every little thing. He's a total control freak. And it's Janet Van Dyne. Loves shopping. Listen, you simply must go shopping with me. This is the extent of her character. It's just, you know, a woman who wants to shop. He's done something very different with Hawkeye here, and I'm not, I'm not sure why this is Hawkeye in this comic. I don't like it. Here he kind of has a, a Shadowhawk vibe. Not the same colors, obviously, but the mask reminds me of Shadowhawk. But then in later issues of Avengers... He kind of, it starts to look more like Wolverine. And either way, I'm not interested in that. Uh, Thor is encased in a giant glob of amber, even though this isn't amber colored at any point in time in the comic. Uh, they keep calling it amber, but it's never colored to look like amber. Oh, he's big on action. Action Man is back. Okay. That was uh, not a hot seller. Oh, there he is. Thor, be born anew. Okay, whatever. Um, and the paper on this is really flimsy. Really flimsy. And it didn't last, you know. Rob was able to do seven issues of Avengers and six issues of Captain America before Marvel basically canceled it because of low sales. And there is the infamous shot of Captain America drawn with a chest that is just ridiculously big. Uh, very, very ridiculously big. But what's odd is in that issue of Captain America, I, I honestly, I collected that Captain America. I didn't even notice it uh, because I don't really critique too much what's, uh, what's going on in these books uh, as far as the art goes. Uh, I'm just, I'm more in it for a story. And, you know, the art looks dynamic. I think, what do they say? Like the average person spends three seconds looking at the art on a page. And I would say that's that probably sounds right. I'm just getting the gist of what's going on. I don't have to critique every single thing about it. Uh, it's not that it's not that big of a deal. It's a comic book. Uh, there are a lot of douches on Google who really like to give Liefeld a hard time, and I can see giving him a hard time because every face is drawn exactly the same in these books. But you know, I don't I don't care. It's not that important to me. Yeah, Thor's legs are ridiculously long. Like, this is ridiculous. But would you have noticed if I hadn't pointed it out? You know, I guess maybe if you're a big-time critic, 
you would care about that. Uh, I care more that, you know, it's helping to, it's just telling the story. Like, is the story being conveyed to me here through the images? And yes, he does, he does know how to lay out a book. This is a terrible two-page spread. This is a terrible two-page spread. Where's our nose? I don't know. And why is every, why are they all so happy? You know, except Vision. He just, he doesn't, no, no, not that happy. Why do they all close their eyes when they smile, too? That doesn't make sense. And this is uh, the Smoking Hot Enchantress is going to team up with Loki. And next, Kang. Um, top Dog Clothing. Hello, 1996. Okay. And this is the uh, Time Slip, which is this, I think this failed probably pretty hard. Where it was like, oh, let's see what it would look like if today's crop of artists had created all of these Marvel characters. And so this is Iron Man. But it's like, okay, whatever. Oh, there's Doctor Doom. And it's like, he looks way crappier. Way crappy. This is not, this is not good. Like, I'm fine with this. This is the only thing I'm fine with. This bracelet, gauntlet sort of vibe. Everything else looks like trash. Nick Fury looks the same. Sliders with Jerry O'Connell. All right, then. Yeah. That show was uh, was quite popular. I preferred My Secret Identity. That was a better show with Jerry O'Connell. Okay, Sega Saturn. Yeah, that was a flop. So anyways, uh, this Avengers, I, I own Rob's entire run on this. Uh, Jim Valentino wrote it. I could go through this a lot. Chap Yape started doing the art and uh, Rob did some of the covers but Chap Yape took care of the art on the inside and it's actually phenomenal. This is this is Ultron 4 and he's terrifying to me. I love the look. I'm totally going to steal it for a robot that I write in the future. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. I got them all. I have them all. And they look fun, don't they? They look this especially. This looks really fun. This is Ian Churchill. He uh, he took over this. Ian Churchill is a, a great artist. And I'll talk about him more in relation to Rob Liefeld when we get into the awesome comics uh, here in, oh, I don't know, a week or two. You know, I need to take a little break from Rob after reading all these issues. And again, that looks really awesome. Ian Churchill draws amazing artwork that really just sucks me in, and I love it. Uh, and then, with issue eight, it was over. Walt Simonson was brought in to try to salvage whatever was left of this. But there wasn't anything left of this, because the truth is is that this, this was really boring to read. And I didn't even actually read all this uh, here yesterday while I was going through these to get ready for this this video, which is not a very good video, because this isn't a very good comic, and there's really not much to talk about. And it should have been good, because this is like a major thing. This is Heroes Reborn, and all of our favorite heroes are being done by two very popular image creators, that being Jim Lee and Rob Liefeld. But ultimately, this Avengers series fell flat. This was so dull. There was there was no rising action. There, I don't even know like what the the plot, like oh, Loki and Enchantress. I don't even know what they were trying to do. It's just they oh we'll bring in a new villain. Oh, oh look, it's Kang. Oh no, here's here's Kang again. Oh, and then the Hulk shows up, and oh Hulk, Hulk and Thor are gonna fight, and then oh every and then they do a crossover in the middle of it. So you have to buy all of these books, and it's so stupid. And then oh look at this, you know all of a sudden Ultron five and. I don't know. Who the fudge is this? Oh, I do get that Chasing Amy ad, though. This is a good movie. If you're young and never seen it. One, I thought it was Wonder Man, yeah. And the Executioner. And it's like, what kind of a shitty team is this? This is a threat, I guess? In Rob Liefeld world, this was a threat? Uh, they brought Jeff Loeb in to try to write it. Jeff Loeb, I want to talk about for a second, though. Because uh, while the Avengers, Heroes Were Born, stunk up the joint pretty thoroughly, Captain America was actually really good. People, people shit on it all the time. But if you go back and you read that story, that story was really good. And I have, uh, and I, I have read it uh, like three times in life. 
uh, because I can keep going back to it because the story that Jeff Loeb constructed was really good despite people who bitch about Rob's artwork. Jeff Loeb's story on it was phenomenal. Uh, the Red Skull was a real threat. Was it Mastermind in it? Was also a real threat. And I would recommend picking up that six-issue run on Captain America. It's actually very disappointing that Jeff Loeb wasn't kept on as the writer to finish Captain America Heroes Reborn because he was going somewhere with it. And it was new and it was different. And, you know, people say, oh, well, Mark Wade was doing such a great job on Captain America at that time. And that, that is true. Mark Wade uh, did have good sales on Captain America, but they wanted to try something different. It's their company and they can do that. And they were relaunching with Heroes Reborn and you're bringing in this, you know, really hot Rob Liefeld. And as the sales were low on both Rob's books, Marvel wanted to give him a pay cut, and he refused. And that, I think, also facilitated his, his firing from the book. And unfortunately, Jeff Loeb should have been allowed to stick around and, uh, and keep it going because Jeff Loeb was doing something really unique with Captain America, having him brought back uh, basically you know, no memory. It was kind of like when he first got unfrozen from the ice. But he's got a wife and a son in it. It turns out that they're androids and... Uh, it turns out that the Nazis are trying, you know, are underground and they're like, you know, neo-Nazis now. And they've got this great plot that I don't want to give away because you should read those books. Captain America, Heroes Reborn, number one through six. Started in, uh, it must have been November of 96 and made it till, oh, what, April of 97. So if you can track those down, you might like them. You know, if you, if you hate Rob Liefeld and you're going to hate on Rob Liefeld, don't, don't waste your time. So that's it, man. This is, this is a weak video because this is a weak comic book. And the one piece of advice I can give you is to check out the Captain America book, though, because Jeff Loeb's story was uh, quite, quite unique. And now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on to Jim Lee's work. He did Iron Man and the Fantastic Four. So I'm going to get to that here in uh, a little bit, just here later today. All right.